is going on Lego Maniacs? It's Tyler Guy here and today, well, it's finally here. Today we're going to be reviewing the 75252 Imperial Star Destroyer Devastator. This set has 4,784 pieces. Too many figs, we'll get into that. Uh, came out this year, 2019 obviously, uh, and it retailed for $699.99 US or $849.99 Canadian. Honestly, this may be the biggest set I've ever built, period. Um, I don't think that, it may be bigger than, this, than the Super Star Destroyer and the Death Star. Uh, just massive set, uh, it took hours to complete. Also, there's over a thousand steps to this set, so it's absolutely massive. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get into uh, the set, get detailed. We're also gonna take a look at some pictures to see how accurate this Star Destroyer is. Honestly, can't wait to get into it. Really, really cool set. I'm just baffled by how massive it really is. Um, but yeah, enough talk. Let's get right into it. So here we'll do the grand unveiling. It is a big boy. So I'll give you guys a 360 view of the box. As you can see it's very big. And there she is. So this thing is the same size as the Millennium Falcon box. So really excited to get into this. So to start this review off, I wanted to center in a little bit more on the artwork. So as you can see, it's a very big box. It has a nice display of the minifigs and the Tanta 4 on the bottom right there. So now, let's open her up. See what's inside. So very intimidating. There the Star Destroyer is right from the get-go. You can see it's coming at you. And then here's the Imperial Star Destroyer with the Imperial Insignia. And then here we have a full scale view of the Star Destroyer. So really nice looking box. Um, yeah, just really, they, they've done a really good job on the artwork with this set. And I just wanted to get a little bit more into that with the review. So normally what I'll do with a set is I'll uh, give you a 360 view of it. Normally I do it by moving the model, but with this one, it is just way too big to do that. So I'll just give you a quick look of everything and then I'll break it down uh, going section by section. So to start, let's just begin right from the front. So here we have a very nice looking little, little Tantive 4 and some very nice detailing in the inside uh, between the two massive plates for the Star Destroyer. It's a very nice looking set. I do really like this little turret. Um, just a beautiful looking set. And then moving on up, uh, we have four turrets. So they do spin, there's nothing too crazy about them. What is cool though, is they bothered to put the detail into the last turret, because if you actually look at the uh, Star Destroyer model, the last turret is different, so I do appreciate that they included that. And then moving upwards, we have the bridge. It's a beautiful looking set, great job. Um, one thing I do wanna show you guys is these actually, wow, they sort of come up. I'll actually be showing you another clip of uh, how these kind of just go on, but you can pull them off, but it is a little tricky, and it's part of the reason why they didn't put an interior. Um, yeah, th this area kind of comes off sort of easy, but it's all interlocked in there, and it's a pain to get it put back in, so I just wanted to show you guys that because a lot of you guys were wondering. One thing I will say is they could have very, very easily put a little bridge in here. They, I mean, that would have not been hard, and that would have given you a tiny bridge, but it would have been cool. And then um, moving on, we'll actually go to the bottom of the ship because this set, unlike a lot of UCS models, has bottom detailing. And I was just honestly thrilled with that. So first off, we'll show you the little hanger. So that's where you can kind of put the tent of four and we will actually demonstrate that. This was one thing I really appreciated about this set. There's a tiny little TIE fighter. 
right here. So I don't know if that's the scale, but I love the inclusion of it because when I was building the set, I was like, what on earth is this little thing I'm building? And then I realized th this is a TIE fighter. It's not advertised or anything that they have it, but they just have it. And then we'll move on. So if you ever played the old Battlefronts, I believe this was the, um, once you took this out, it would basically take out their health facilities, um, like their life support. So anyways, love that they have the detail there. As you can see, there is a ton of detail on the bottom of the set. And here we have an Imperial crew member and an Imperial officer. We're gonna get more detailed into these minifigs, um, but I just wanted to center in on this plaque. Very nice looking plaque. The thing is only 1,600 meters long. Love all the detail. I wish they would have put the general population that lives on this ship. Um, the Super Star Destroyer, they did that, so that kind of bugged me, but what are you gonna do? Very small detail, but it's nice. Ni nice uh, looking plaque. And then these are the support systems, and this is able to carry the entire thing, which, believe it or not, is kind of crazy. Um, moving on, we'll take give you guys a little bit better look of this top area. And then towards the back, a lot of very nice detailing to give the impression that this is a working functioning ship so do love that I mean just check all these odds and ends this will be an awesome set to light up as we move into the engines just I'll tilt it a little bit so you guys get a little bit better view just a great looking back area absolutely love these engines um, honestly the the engines are honestly one of the best parts of the set. Um, but yeah, this is the ship itself. Very, very nice looking. Um, what we're gonna do now is I'll just demonstrate how that Tanta 4 kind of just sits in that hangar bay. So yeah, let's look at that. So here we have a little Tanta 4. Fits nice and snug in that hangar. Great job, do really, really like it. Um, I just wanna demonstrate, well, show you guys. Apparently this is what the TIE Fighter is in comparison to the Tanta 4, and the Tanta 4 is in comparison to the Star Destroyer. I love comparisons, and I'm gonna be getting into a massive comparison of all these sets at the, uh, yeah, end of, well, at, um, at the end of reviewing four major UCS sets. So that'll be pretty cool, can't wait to do that. Um, but yeah, anyways, beautiful looking set. Uh, can't say enough good things about how it looks. Now, let's take a look at the two minifigs. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what the inside of the Star Destroyer looks like. So, as you guys can see, I will say that there is definitely space for an interior, although it would be kind of tricky how to do it. They'd have to basically put base plates here and here um yeah and then, and then to open this up these pieces i'm actually in the middle of building this as i put this in the review um they go on top so i mean it, it can be done but it is a little tricky one thing i will mention though if you guys look here there they could have had a small bridge on this so there could have been a tiny interior um but yeah interior would have been tricky to do just i wouldn't say it's impossible it just would have been yeah, it would have been tricky to try and implement this into the model. So here are the two minifigs that come with this set. So on the left, you have the Imperial, Imperial crew member. And on the right, we have the Imperial officer. So just give you guys a 360 view of it. I will mention some of the positives. They have arm printing, which is fantastic. Really, really do like that. And that's right there. That's what I'm talking about. It has a little Imperial insignia. So very nice looking. They also both have leg printing. This one actually has what's to look like boots, which is very unique. Lego, I don't believe, they very rarely do that. Um, then they have some nice back torso printing. Uh, this is also, they're both, I think, uh, I think this one at least is an exclusive. Um, but anyways, the, well, they're both exclusives. Um, I will have to say, I was kind of let down with the minifigs. I was expecting more. Uh, I mean, come on, the, the Super Star Destroyer gave us like five, six, they give us six minifigs, um, well five, but if you include the hologram, this one only gives you two. So I was kind of let down with that. I mean, you're getting, you're paying so much for a massive set and you get two minifigs. 
Although they're not bad minifigs, I just think they could have maybe stepped their game up on them. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. I still think they're nice looking, just we could add something a little bit more special for this. I mean, I don't know what it could be. Maybe a really exclusive Darth Vader. Uh, just something to kind of make... The, the Basically, the minifig game on this set is weak, but besides that, it's honestly a fantastic set. But now what we'll do is we'll get into some of those pictures briefly, just to see how accurate this Star Destroyer is compared to the movie. So to start, let's take a look at this Imperial Star Destroyer. I do believe that this was um, this picture was taken off a of Rogue One. Correct me if I'm wrong about that though. But as you can see, the Star Destroyer did a great job. The only thing is they could have maybe had some little yellow lights in it, although, yeah, I, that, that would probably be, to, to, to implement that even a stud that's a light would probably be too big. But I mean, a couple of them would be, you know, accurate. I'm just thinking about size-wise. You want to keep the it size accurate. These lights are obviously very, very small. Could, yeah, maybe a couple in the in the uh, main hangar. But uh, yeah, moving on, here's another picture of the Star Destroyer. So very, very uh, good job. Let's, let's take a look at the bridge. So anyways, I think LEGO did a fantastic job implementing it. They even have this little upper area. Um, the shield generators, fantastic job. Uh, I just, I can't say enough good things about how they designed this Star Destroyer. Um, here's another really good picture of the Star Destroyer. So just honestly fantastic. Uh, you can see the little details they got going on that they've implemented in the Lego set. There's that um, basically life support i do believe that that is that let me know if i'm wrong about that though but at least when i played battlefront that's always when you take took that out you took out life support but yeah i just think lego did a fantastic job um i know i've been saying that a lot i just i'm very impressed with this model uh, i just wish really they maybe could have implemented a very small interior as well as um the minifigs the minifigs definitely could have been improved on um, but all in all, I think LEGO did a pretty good job on it. I just thought these pictures would help out just to give a little bit better review. But uh, yeah, let's get to the end of the review now. Well, guys, that was my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, this set, as far as looks go, it is a 10 out of 10. Um, just fantastic looking, uh, especially comparing against those pictures. I loved the, the little miniature models like the TIE Fighter and the Tanta 4. I just love the inclusions of that. I don't know if that TIE Fighter is to scale. It just seems a bit big, but maybe it is. Um, so that was, a, that was a tough one for me to try and figure out. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that TIE Fighter is to scale or not? Um, as far as the interior goes, as we showed in the pictures or in the video, it is a little tricky to try and get that, um, to utilize that space. Um, although it does come apart quite easily uh, in that top area, but yeah, still, it's just, it's a tricky area to try and build something. And the minifigs, I'm not thrilled with the minifigs. That's the only big downside I have with this set. The interior, I understand why it was that difficult to make an interior, but the minifigs, they could have maybe improved on that. But as far as the model itself, if you're looking for a fantastic display piece, you're not going to get, there's, you won't go wrong. This is one of the best sets you can get for that. Love the look of this Star Destroyer. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this set? Do you not? Do you actually plan on buying it? Uh, it is an expensive boy. It's one big boy, and uh, yeah, it's it's priced accordingly. But yeah, I like it. Um, actually, I really like it. This is my first UCS Star Destroyer. I never got a chance to get the 2002. Uh, but yeah, that was my review. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, click that bell so you're notified for any new UCS sets because I am planning on reviewing uh, a number of them this month. We still have the Death Star 2 and the Tanta 4, that is a quote unquote uh, UCS model. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you today, but take care. I'll catch you on the next one.